there with meteorologist Robert Sir joining us again. Robert, uh, pretty nice day out there today. The rest of the weekend, though, spotty showers possible, right? Yeah, but my intuition is telling me that it's going to be a pretty nice weekend. I like it. Yes, with uh, just very slight rain chances out there, folks. So we'll start with tomorrow. If you have outdoor plants or maybe you're hitting your backyard or your community pool or maybe your friend's pool, uh, it's going to be a great day for a dip in the pool. You can see their temperatures starting out a little bit on the crisp side in the upper 50s but rising into the upper 70s by this af by the afternoon hours. Maybe you're lucky enough to have a heated pool and it doesn't matter what the temperature is. It's comfortable no matter when you get in. River Valley about the same thing uh, starting out in the 60s. If you're taking an evening dunk, we'll be in the mid 80s uh, by about five or six o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Live look outside right now, really not too bad. No matter where you look, you can see there lots of clear skies and very comfortable temperatures in the upper 70s, especially across Northwest Arkansas. I don't see any 80 degree numbers anymore, just upper 70s across the board in the River Valley. That's where we start to see some of those 80 degree, 80 degree readings popping up. Now we're so I'm showing you the winds here, which are pretty much insignificant. But what's important to note here is the direction the winds are coming out of. They're coming out of the northeast and you're probably saying, OK, so what? Well, that's very important because it's really keeping our dew points very, very dry and very comfortable all the way down to southeast Oklahoma. You don't see that very often in early June. Usually it feels like the rainforest at this time of the year, but it is extremely comfortable on this Friday evening and it will remain that way as we go through the evening and overnight hours tonight by 11 as you're wrapping up the uh, the glow run in, in Bentonville. No problems whatsoever. Waking up tomorrow morning. Maybe you're running to the bakery to grab some pastries or out for that morning jog. No problems at all. Upper 60s, lower 70s. But by tomorrow afternoon, we could start to see some very stray spotty sprinkles, maybe a rumble of thunder. Really not a big deal right now in northwest Arkansas, but that threat could continue as we get into Sunday morning. More activity uh, spreading its way through northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. This is a better chance for maybe an isolated thunderstorm that could get a little bit on the frisky side. We'll keep our eye on that. Lows tonight, uh, mid 50s and upper 50s to right around 60 across the region. And then tomorrow we'll rebound right around 80 degrees on average for just about everybody. Maybe a little bit warmer. You get down toward the watch Taws. Extended forecast looks great for the most part. Now don't get intimidated because we've got rain chances every day. Those are extremely low chances. We're in a pattern now where we don't have a definitive system rolling into the area. We've got very weak systems just about every day that could maybe spark a shower pretty much every day that you see here across Northwest Arkansas as well as the River Valley. So don't cancel your plans because you see 20% here. That is very, very low chances. Yesterday we forecasted a high of 82 for Bowles in Scott County right within that threshold. It was 81. Congratulations to Wendell Carter of Fort Smith. He's going to get the Darby Bybee umbrella tomorrow. We're going to take you right to the Carroll and Newton County line for the town of Alpena for a high of 80 degrees. Brandon. All right, Robert, thank you. And as a reminder, you can always stay up to date on the changing weather conditions. Just download the free 4029 news app. It is available no matter which mobile device you have. Well, don't go anywhere. We're back with more right after this.